Looney Tunes World of Mayhem is a very well produced attempt to pull in fans of the much beloved series with a simple RPG format and hero collecting mechanics, but has a few flaws lying immediately below the surface. Looney Tunes is beloved by many cartoon fans in a western audience, bringing back nostalgic memories of sitting bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, watching in awe at the antics of Bugs Bunny, Sylvester Stallone, Roadrunner, and the whole lot of zany characters playing around with dynamite, dropping pianos and safes on each other's heads, and having some good wholesome fun. What better way to celebrate that nostalgia than with a hero collector straight to your phone? Looney Tunes World of Mayhem is the latest piece of the puzzle for the Looney Tunes universe, and while it has flaws, can hopefully recapture the light-hearted fun that many fans of the series can remember from their youth. The concept of the game is a blend of hero collectors and simple turn-based RPG mechanics. Build a team that suits your preferences and hop into a constructed match with other mainstay characters from the franchise, each with their own abilities. Each character generally has two or three different attacks, a basic attack, a special attack of some sort, as well as occasionally a third attack that provides either special damage types or various tactical advantages, if not both. From here, players engage in simple turn-based combat with their opponents until one party or the other is defeated. The combat in the game is fairly simple. Although a tactical element to the game exists, making sure to stun certain opponents who are a threat, or ensuring that your tank taunts the team in order to peel away damage from your opponents, or dealing debuffs to enemy targets, the game largely can play itself. Many battles require little strategy at all beyond choosing a target and giving them a firm walloping of cartoon violence until you find yourself at your victory screen. Battles will generally be determined by the arbitrary battle power number listed, and although some battles may be deceptively more complicated than they appear if you're fighting a foe with an ability you haven't seen before, generally engaging as aggressively as possible against one target will achieve the best results. Making full use of the licenses that come along with the Looney Tunes franchise, the series rendered nostalgic backgrounds for combat and made full use of the silly cartoon style that the series has as a whole. Characters look well modeled, and attack animations are gorgeous, with special note to the variety of special moves that include brief clips of 3D animation that splash colors, old-timey sound effects, and exude raw charm across the screen. Seeing your favorite characters rendered in 3D on your phone is a treat, and unlocking your favorite style of character is sure to enliven you to continue playing. World of Mayhem is not without its flaws, though. Firstly, the game is hindered by an energy system that robs some of the fun out of the experience. Each battle requires energy to participate in, the price of the energy rising as you continue through the campaign. While the PvP battle mode is free to participate in, you'll no doubt eventually rise to a rank that is either equivalent with your skill level or your party's battle level, meaning you'll quickly run out of fights to have, and will be stuck either waiting on the countdown to renew energy, refreshing by a small amount every 6 minutes, or dropping in personal money to quicken the process. Secondly are the amount of characters the game actually offers. There are 67 in total, but many are reskins of the others. While each of the characters are well modeled, each coming with unique abilities of their own, it is a little disappointing that the more full display of the back catalog of characters from the Looney Tunes universe wasn't utilized here, although updates may come in the future. Furthermore, characters are limited to the zone that they were supposed to appear in. Did you unlock Sales Duck Daffy while you were in the forest zone? Sorry, he's only allowed in the town zone. Did you get Showbiz Bugs? Sorry, he's only allowed in places where the WB Studios team is allowed. This arbitrary restriction of characters can really take the wind out of a player's step, as the randomness and the reward of finding a new hero is immediately hindered by the fact that some of them will simply be unusable in the story mode until you progress further. Which again, let's remember, it all takes energy to progress through that story mode. That first 100 gems that they give you for free isn't going to last that long. And of course, you can buy a starty pack of characters or gems for a pretty penny if you have the money to burn. But whether that's worth it to your bank account or not is a subjective judgment. In the end, Looney Tunes World of Mayhem shines through on its visual design and nostalgia factor, but comes paired with many of the most unfortunate parts of modern mobile games. The mobile gaming market is more competitive than ever, especially as developers really get a handle on the best ways to engage players. And in a day where games like Grand Chase can present randomized gotcha mechanics while also allowing players dozens of hours of content for free before even bugging you for money or hindering your gameplay through energy demands, the nostalgia that Looney Tunes brings to the table can only last so long before users realize the tunnel that they were about to run through was not as enticing as they thought it was.
No matter which mobile game you like to play, thank you for watching my review of Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. If you like this style of content, give it a like and also give me a subscription. It lets you know the next time that we create new videos here. You can also check out my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash heychrisfox. And if you feel so inclined to try this game out, you can find a link to it down in the description. See you later!